I am Gaurav Fudai. Welcome to all of you in Manoj Chama Academy. You know that we are discussing about the chapter uh, number 11 that is the transport in plant. In this chapter we are discussing uh, now imbibition. What is the meaning of the imbibition? In the rainy season we see that wood door and window will swell to the presence of the water inside the, this wood. What is the behind the mechanism of that? If we see some wood particle put in water at that time <coughs> after some time we see that the volume of the uh, wood particle will increase. What is the reason is behind that? That's a biological phenomena. It's called the imbibition. Now the definition of the imbibition is that it is a special type of diffusion. It, it is a special type of diffusion in which absorb of the water or we can say absorb of some fluid by the solid particle. And that solid particle is hydrophilic. This solid particle is hydrophilic. That means hydrophilic. That means that particle loving to towards the water, and that solid particle will absorb the water. If we put in some vessels and we put some wood plant, wood. At that time, this <coughs> absorb water. That means it is a gradient diffusion gradient how to create the diffusion of the gradient of the diffusion that means in particle that have less amount of water and out of the particle higher amount of water so you know that higher amount of water that that means the concentration of the water is higher out of the wood and inside the wood particle the water concentration is low so that water will transport from outer side to inside that due to this reason volume of the particle will increase that particle that absorb the liquid that particle that absorb the liquid its particle called imbibent its particle called imbibent and imbibent absorb the fluid and thus fluid or we can say liquid it is called imbibet that's the difference between is that particle that absorb the water that particle called imbibent and liquid which absorb by this particle this liquid called imbibet so different between see that imbibent and imbibet imbibent <coughs> is particle and imbibit it is a liquid so thus phenomena is very useful in plant during the seed germination we will be discussing about the in a uh, few after some time first what is the characteristic of imbibition now what happened during the imbibition the first is that volume change first is that volume change in liquid that we can say imbibit in liquid we put the, some particle that hydrophilic particle and due to hydrophilic particle water absorbed by this particle at the same time uh, vo volume will increase why because that water inside volume of the inside water is you know, entering inside due to this surface turgor pressure will uh, turgor pressure will produce and this due to presence of the pressure that volume will increase because the due to the higher amount of the water present inside and that will that will increase in volume volume of the particle second is the production of it now that's a is a example of the during the, we can say that in the floor we can so wood if some with male we have to floor at that time the heat is produced why because the production of the heat Due to the enter of the water and volume will increase that means it have produced some kinetic energy water inside in, uh, water enter inside and that will create kinetic energy due to kinetic energy production of the production of the heat and so that the second character is the production of the heat third character is increase in pressure why the power pressure is will increase because of the water enter inside the particle and water inside in the particle water gradient will create 
due to the presence of the water gradient water enter in the particle and this particle have higher amount of water so due to the higher amount of water in particle pressure will be increased so this character history of the imbibition so first is the volume change second the production of the heat third is the increase in pressure that's three character of the imbibition now in process of the imbibition during which factory will create and that effect on imbibition so sometimes some is factor that uh, effect on the imbibition is that first is the nature of the imbibent if the hydrophilic particle ha that have the higher amount of imbibent but in case we discussing that agar agar is uh, present agar agar have higher amount of the imbibition as compared to pectin pectin have higher amount of the uh, imbibition as compared to starch and starch have higher amount of the imbibition ratio as compared to cellulose so that agar agar have the higher uh, capacity for the imbibition example of we are discussing about the protein starch and carbohydrate that means protein have the higher amount of the imbibition capacity as compared to cellulose uh, carbohydrate protein and lipid in this after how the lower amount of the imbibition cap capacity is the cellulose uh, protein have the higher amount of capacity that means the nature of the imbibition imbibition is also effect on imbibition process second is the surface area of the imbibent imbibent it is a particle if the surface area is more it's proportional to imbibition that means if the surface area is higher at that time imbibition process will increase at if surface area is low that means imbibition process is slow that so imbibition is become less so surface area is also affected on imbibition third thing is the degree of the dryness of the imbibent if the hydrophilic particle have more dryness that means it have lower amount of water or we can say that absence of the water at that time if the dryness ratio is higher so the imbibition process will more if um, dryness ratio is lower that means some water present or we can say uh, surface of the uh, imbibent that means that will not do more imbibition as compared to dry particle so the degree of the dryness is also affect on imbibition factor third is the temperature if the temperature will increase due to the imbibition process also increase concentration of the solute that is the effect on the imbibition process if in solution we add some more about the solute if add more solute then remember that imbibition process will become slow or say decrease if we enter more amount solid i repeat this question uh, sentence again that if we enter solute more in solution at the time imbibition process will decrease so this factor affect on imbibition now uh, last thing is that what is the important of imbibition in plant or we can say in application of imbibition in normal life in the life that first is imbibition in application of the imbibition is that if for some time a split of rock and bolts prehistoric man who study about the rock and further details of historical plants at that time you want to study or, or that's like a split or a rock if the more rock is a uh, size of the rock is more at that time we have to split and during the split no any particle no uh, the surface area or we can say the no any damage that happen in rock at the time if we want to split the rock so the prehistoric man use the process of the imbibition second is seeds emerge out of the soil seed or pea put in its soil and absorb the, the water this absorb what water that process is imbibition so seed emerges out 
due to the process of the imbibition and last thing is after the imbibition after the emerged seed a seed will have to establish in soil and this establish of soil uh, establish of seed in soil it due to the only and only imbibition so that imbibition is one type of the water transport and that you can say that is one type of the diffusion and that very important in plant especially in the seed germination process imbibition is very helpful to germination of seed